What's up? Welcome back to Ultima 9, boys and girls. Yeah. You excited? I am. I'm excited. I'm so pumped to find out what the fuck this dungeon is about. <laughs> well, get ready. Spoiler. It's about I... to be revealed. Spoiler, I never do. The Journal of Dream. Uh... Day 37. I tried to escape. <laughs> On day 37? <laughs> what the fuck have you been doing, brah? Oh, but hey, I'll, I'll take this back and take it to your, your dead wife. I'm sure Can so. ghosts read? Okay, so this is this is the dumbest thing in this dungeon. <laughs> okay, so did you just try and cast meteorite or no? Whatever? No, no. He summoned. He did the casting animation for summoning a hellhound. The thing is, you can't hurt demons unless they're attacking. Either that, or you do, like, so little damage that it would take half an hour of stabbing them like this to actually kill them. First time. Okay. But, they don't attack unless, uh, their summons are dead. And he's summoning shit, but where? In another room. Worse. Okay, there's one. Also, that's a. I never noticed that their hellhounds are recolored. Yeah. That they're a specific They're recolor. like green. Alright, I'm getting hit by fireballs. From below. <laughs> I told you it was in another room! No! <laughs> it's in the void. He summoned it below the level. <laughs> you cannot kill this guy unless you no clip down, kill his stupid fucking hellhound, no clip back up. Oh, but that's still not enough. He summons more. He'll just keep fucking doing that. <laughs> it's so hard to kill this guy. Thank you, Ultimate <laughs> Like, oh, hey, we just got our 8% chance that it'll freeze. No, 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 that was, uh... Oh, you that was me casting it. The Black Rock sword doesn't do that. So I'm gonna keep trying for a little bit, but... He's even bored. He's all sad, I guess. I don't know. Oh, he summoned another one instantly. Fucker. Can you hit him from down there? No. Well, they can cast stuff through there, why can't you? Oh, look, look. He's attacking me. Well, because Fireball doesn't do any damage to him. He's fire, he's a demon. Don't you have other projectile spells? Not yet, not that will not, not that aren't fire. Meteorite's not fire. Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah, it, it's technically a, a, a fire damage. That's dumb. So now there's like three hellhounds down there. He's wailing on me. I, I can't kill him. I don't know. In this issue of Ultima 9. And, yep. I went the wrong way. How long does it take before I realize that? Oh. Right here. <laughs> that's, that's where I came in at. Surprised you were able to figure that out. That's new. Yeah. I mean, how could you tell? I mean, what are the visual cues here? Skulls and bones. Well, that does differentiate it from other dungeons in the same <laughs> ballot swap. Look at this shit. I figure if the magic arrow did so good against the dragonling, maybe it'll one-shot this guy, too? No. Well, the worst thing is he's advancing on me, and we all saw me kill myself at least once in this thread with those. Oh, and he's invisible now. And no, the magic arrows aren't doing shit. In fact, he's laughing at you. Uh, the fire arrow does shit. Uh, why would you ever use an arrow? Don't you know that arrows are the worst thing in this game? They are! <laughs> It just happened to one-shot that one thing, and I don't even know why.
I'm literally pissed, because I thought I had it figured out with the whole, I think they have to be attacking for you to hurt them, but uh, that didn't work for this guy. And maybe all of his summons have to be dead, but fuck it, I don't care anymore. So done. Oh, here's a trap room. I think this is supposed to be, like, Cyclone B or something pumping in here. You have to find the correct, uh, bump in the wall to touch up. Don't open okay, it up. Okay, look at this room. Yeah, you just walk through and none of the fireballs even hit you. <laughs> what, what? What? This is so dumb. Oh, it gets better. Oh! Oh, hey, uh... A lich. Oh, a lich. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> and finally, vampire bats. They're really annoying. All bats are annoying. The oh, no. Bats are the worst enemies in any game. Uh, but they look so cute. You would like a small furry robot with wings. Look at them. No, he's not They got cute. big eyes. They're flip. Aww. You're so gross. There we go. They take a fucking beating. You and say the same thing about anime girls. Oh. <laughs> they take a fucking beating. Look <laughs> 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 like a bone helm. Oh my god. <laughs> that whole bullshit was completely worthless. Oh. Well, also, so, uh, vampire. Welcome to Ultima 9. Vampire bats go down in one fireball. <laughs> Dude dropped a lot of shit, though. Oh, he was a lich. Yeah, that's true. Apparently you also just heard phylactery while you were at it. Oh, bone boots. We finally get to replace Fago walkers. <laughs> but they look dumb. Yeah, well, these look dumb, too. And they give you a little more defense, so I'm taking them. <laughs> I, thought you were, I thought you were gonna wear the Raven's Choice boots the entire game. That was never a condition I agreed to. That was a condition you Oh, and I can't pick up that gold bracelet. That was a condition that you bracelet. yourself said. Bullshit. I believe the thread will stand by me on this, that you said, and I'm going to wear these faggot boots the whole game. I believe the thread will definitely stand by me on this. And even if he didn't, just agree with me, guys. Uh, okay, whatever. Okay. Ah, so this is where the lich's phylactery was. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jesus. Are you fucking serious? That was it. Are you fucking serious? Just a half of a zombie resize? You sons of bitches. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Look at this. Oh. I went through all that. All of this poor shit. <laughs> oh, and I don't, I don't know what keys are worth taking. So I'll I'll le I'll 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 keep the tin potions. No, no, I I drank one and tossed the flask. Like what was that? That was sad, man. It gets sadder when you realize what that actually was. I'm not gonna spoil it yet, but I have an idea. But yeah. So anyway, stunning. And they were so proud of those like little skull models, like the they're fucking the, everywhere. The tra no, the tra the giant yeah, translucent yeah. ones. They were so proud of that. I'm sure. They're like, oh hey, check take take check this out. Check it, yeah man, check it. Ch ch check it out. Check it. We're so awesome. This game's gonna be boss. Game of the year. Fuck you, assholes. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Oh, and in case you you took any damage during that, go ahead and heal yourself back up. No, this is worse. Is it? This is a magic filling shrine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in case you're burning all, all your magic doing bullshit, killing demons that can't be killed. Yeah, exactly. With fire spells that won't work. Oh! Oh my God! Oh, I don't, know, I don't know if these are actually different than regular spiders, because I don't think... They're not, they're, they're not, uh, they're, they're not the no, worst spiders. No, they're just, uh, 
regular giant spiders with no texture. <laughs> I think they're supposed to be more foreboding because they're pitch black, but it just looks dumb. Well, it's not like that room. Well, which dungeon was the room where they did all the the black horse, like the dark one, dark oh, contrast that, shit? That was uh, in the mines, and it was really annoying. And it also flashed a lot, like it did lightning flashes. All of the lights. Yeah. This game comes with an epilepsy warning. No, it's not because of any flashlighting. It's because it will literally destroy your brain while playing it. Yeah. <laughs> so like, you the, two can drool. This this dungeon is filled with dead ends that only serve to get you part of a collection quest. A really silly collection quest. Like, legit silly. Like, I know I bitch about how dumb half the things in this game are. Just legit dumb. A diamond. I'm not even gonna fucking bother. Oh, hey! Another worm guard! Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Take that. He seemed to be a little stronger in constitution than the fucker who said he was the best fighter of all time. The best of all the worm They guards. both took two stabs. A red candle, you say? I bet that goes with the red skull that I picked up earlier that's in bag number 15. You have hey, no at, idea what anything's in, do you? At least I'm being smart and keeping the, uh, the dungeon items in a bag on my quick select. I'm shocked. Yeah. There's a ruby in there. Why do they have, like, scales? What are they doing? Okay, that gets weirder. Hang on. Oh, hey, a worm guard. Uh, you know, live and let live. What? Don't mind me. I'm just doing a okay. job here. What's your job? I'm a miner. We spend most of our time down here mining jewels for Talordia. She can't get enough of them. You find first-rate gems down here, no doubt. Are there any worm <laughs> guard around here? I expect so. They're usually About five here. feet behind you. They're the only thing that keeps most of us here. If a miner tries to escape, the worm guard hunts so them So this down. is where Blackthorn gets all of his sweet costume Goodbye. jewelry. Yeah. He has a deal with Taloria. Oh. Don't mind me. I'm just doing my job here. No further questions. Goodbye. <laughs> so now all of these... No, no, no. The deal is that Talornia... Uh... No, no, no. I've got a question before you go off into a tire okay. that no one cares about. Can you pick those gems up that are in the wall? Yeah, the, the free gems in the wall. But you can't pick up the piles of gems, which you'd think would be really valuable since they're a fucking pile of gems. But no, you can only pick up the loose ones. Not that anything in this game is worth anything. No. Uh, Ex lever. Except for compasses. Yeah. Those sextants. Sextants. Those things? Secret lever. So the deal here is that Taloria... Uh, she has a deal with the worm guard. They get their dragons that they ride around on from her eggs. And in exchange, I don't know what they even do for her, but... They make sure that the miners mine the gems. Okay. They're, they're, they're her enforcers, because, you know... She's got a lot going on. She's a busy woman. She's got eggs to lay. She's got villages to plunder. She can't be, you know, used with these trivial little, you know, things like, you know, the micromanagement of her, her, of her minions. That's a lot of work. Can't yeah. even take these picks with you. So, you know, she asks the, the worm guard, you know, she made a deal with them. They get a ride around on her worms, or as some people like to call them, dragons. Children. <laughs> or children, you know, whatever. You know, it, it it's it's a really crude form of, of uh, child uh, slavery. Child slavery, which you know, obviously Richard wanted to address. Yep, he wanted to address that. I mean, he he is probably wrong that is involved in child labor issues. He is I probably mean, the developer with the most. Uh, he he re really should be, you know, um, you know, commended for his stance against child labor. I think it's really you know noble that he took time to. To work it into his... What the fuck am I even talking about? I don't know. I was going to say, it's really weird that they have scales and shit here. Oh, hang on. Before I go further into that, what's this? 
Secret passage. No. <laughs> You're stuck. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> you cannot get out of this. What kind of gems are those? Are those supposed to be rubies? Amethyst. Just... Amethyst? Okay. That's fucking worthless. and not how amethyst comes anyway. Yeah. So anyway, uh, <laughs> why, why are there scales here? Because, you know, I can see scales in most mining of gem operations. You know, find out, you know, what carrot they are. And, you know, price them and shit like that. But Talorni is a fucking dragon. They're specifically giving them to the dragon. I think dragon just cares if it's a pile of gems. No! I don't think they're, like, really in depth. No, she wants to know, dude. Like, she's got it, you know, so she can brag to her other dragon friends. Oh, look at these 20 She carrots. doesn't have dragon friends. Look at these 20. She's an antisocial dragon. She's even selling off her kids. <laughs> look at these 20 carrot earrings. I'm assuming she has ears. Look at this. What? Halt, oh, matey. Traveler. Speak now. The what? Of power. This is the exit. Why is there... Wait. <laughs> What's with the after explosions? Distard was an inside job. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and anyone who thinks that the distard that, that was an inside this was an inside job is a fucking idiot. <laughs> now I've let you talk. <laughs> I'ma let you finish, but uh I'ma let you finish, but uh no. <clears throat> So, oh good, you hit fast run. Thank so you. we've got four. Oh god, I forgot. There's a whole other section here. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Fuck that noise. Let's go in a circle. Okay, we're back at the uh, the that grim dark summoning pentagram. <laughs> oh, that's where you left the red skeleton. The red skull, yeah. yeah. I'm just dumping them in this room. Oh, I wonder why. Uh, I bet it has something to do with summoning uh, some undead horse shit. Undead? Oh. No, no. Oh, hey, a treasure map. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> you couldn't be bothered to edit that out, could you, Jumander? The, uh, the treasure map? Yeah. I don't want to see your fucking treasure map. I've seen it already. Oh, okay, well... Too bad. Besides, I know how to follow your treasure trail. <laughs> <laughs> so pushing those buttons doesn't do anything. It makes the columns turn on. What you have to do is come in these rooms, find those hidden buttons that makes the green globe on top go down. Hidden buttons. These things are a pain in the ass to find. I didn't know they were here until the last time I played through this. I usually just no-clip through that barrier. <laughs> what, did you just assume it was broken? Yeah, because you push both the buttons, both the columns turn on. So this on. is the, uh... This is the, uh... The cult. Sh of the shrine. Yeah. A demon ritual. Skull, candle, globe, blood, severed head. Okay. <laughs> I'll let her praise my great serpent. You wanna see my lizard? Does she just have infinite health? I don't know. I think these things just do shit damage. They got a lab in here. Oh, hey! <laughs> you can even see that I've already solved this puzzle. Useful. Thanks, though. Oh, by the way, have fun finding this. Blood flask. Only one in the game. <laughs> Behind some shit in here. That's not a special fountain. This is just a bunch of shit. Oh, praise the great serpent. Yes. This is a sacred place of worship. Do you know who I am? Do I look I like am? I care? No, lady. <laughs> who are you? 
I am Saphira, the new leader of the cult of the mighty dragon Talornia, which was founded by the great Zarnthal. Who is Zarnthal? I thought he was Zenithal. He was the great no. and wise man who saved many people by forming the cult of Talornia. He recognized her omnipotent power and chose omnipotent to power is a little redundant than to fight her. He is now gone and is buried in the mystic tomb that shall protect him. Should anyone be foolish enough to decide? Oh, you mean the one with the yeah, one dead. shot <laughs> half zombie? <laughs> yep. That's what I assumed that was. Yeah. Ah! Boom! Fuck you, Dad. What work are you continuing? Who? <gasps> Are making great breakthroughs in magic, especially in the art of summoning. Oh, that's actually important. We are going to Talornia is pleased. Yeah, with yeah. What is Talornia? She is the great dragon who lived. Believe in her avatar or be convinced. Wait, I never told her I was the avatar. Whatever. Are you in league with the worm guard? Like the Worm Guard, we serve the Great Dragon, but we are not a part of them. However, unlike the Worm Guard, we are not brainwashed fools who believe. No, we in believe guarding. in a giant dragon. Talornia knows that we are her true servants. I intend <laughs> to kill her. What? Blasphemer! You. So is this a setup fight regardless of how you answer that last question? Uh, no, you can be a pussy and tell her, oh, I'm gonna serve her. Oh. But there's no point since you don't lose karma for... The complete works of J.R.R. Tolkien. Thanks, hmm, bud. Thanks for that Easter egg. Demonic reading! Why is there a picture of Richard the Third? Uh, cause it's an obvious secret. So that's the key you need to open this. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, bone armor. Hey. Yep. And uh, jewelry that I bet's not real jewelry. A tiny, tiny pile that's worth a lot of money. Uh, reagents, some bad potions. Red glow. Yeah, I'm assuming that the jewels in that aren't real. Oh, in the display case? Nah, they probably are. I just didn't bother no clipping into them, because... Whatever. But that's money, bro. Yep. You could have bought things with it. Yeah. <laughs> Go buy some more onions. <laughs> some more treasure maps. <laughs> blah, 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 later, bitch. This is actually a binding circle, so I guess you could technically bind some spells here. I don't know what you'd get here that you could bind. Oh, look what it is. Severed head. Why I have it? found a severed head. Couldn't anybody's head do, or does it have to be the specially in in enchanted one that's hanging it's, out? The book says anointed in blood, which I guess, I, I mean, I think I could figure out how to anoint something in blood. <laughs> Especially a severed head. I mean, come on, that's pretty easy to anoint in blood. If you sever it... Maybe it has to be special magic blood. Uh, uh, no. It's probably just you have to, like, read some bullshit. You probably have to read some ho some of the Hobbit while you're dripping the blood on it. Ash, nush, anush, anush. You just start reading Black Speech. Oh, good grief. So what does this do for us? Well, uh, they're learning how to summon powerful creatures, and apparently the events of Pagan have not sated the Avatar's hunger for demon summoning? I don't know. I don't know why he, like, wants to do this, but 
Because Pagan was a lot of fun. It's kind of like when you had that first gay sex experience. It's yeah. Like, it's, it's so dirty. It's, it's so, so wrong, wrong that you just have to do it some more. You know, he remembers the good days of Pagan. Because that's really the only thing he can, apparently. Giant, remember. giant demon. <laughs> is this like the boss fight replacement for this? This is totally optional. And it gave me the best scroll. Oh, Demon Summon. Yep. It's like Summon Undead, but good. Also, I'm taking this candle. Why? <laughs> In case, because you need a red candle later, and there's uh, two of them in the game, but the other one might not spawn. So, I'm just taking this one so I don't have to backtrack, because it, yeah. If you don't do that, then you have to backtrack anyway to do the whole demon summoning thing. <gasps> Later. So you'd say, oh, we've only got four of the dragon shards, like... Obviously, I need to stay in here and look around for the fifth one, right? I'm gonna say that's probably wrong. I bet she has the other one. Ah, oh, friend. I see that you have returned. If the dragon still lives, have you at least brought some yep. news of my husband? He was here yes. for 40 days before he decided to try and escape. Um. I can see here that Doran did indeed die from... I thank you for bringing this to me. As a token of my appreciation, take from me this piece of the magic. Okay, so sh she was all bummed that we hadn't killed the dragon yet. But she has a part of the key to get to the dragon. And she didn't just give it to us. Like you'd think, hey, go kill the dragon for me so my soul can be at rest. Here's part of the key. But then you wouldn't have any impetus to go, like, look around. Yeah, and find worthless bullshit. No, 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 no. Ha! I can't wait to bring your head back to the Guardian. Who are you? Who are you? I'm the worm god that's going to take your life. That's all you need to know, hero. If you think that you can take my head, come Thank try you. to get it. I will take your head. I will. Prepare yourself, hero. Your death is at hand! I hear you talk, but I see no action. Come on. Take one step forward and I'll cut you down. You'll just stay right where you are if you know what's good for you. If you make a single move toward me, I'll call all of the Worm Guard here and we'll kill you where you stand. That's it. I've had enough of you. Draw your weapon. No, no, please don't hurt me. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. I'll be quiet. Just please don't hurt me. Fine, just stay there and quiver, you pathetic coward. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I'll stay here. Just please don't hurt me. What? <laughs> That's it. That's all you gotta do. You don't even fight him. <laughs> well, he has no valor. When did the worm guards start getting affected by the columns? They always have been. That's the whole point. YOLO, Jana, yeah, uh, Julia. This I seems, loved you. This seems like a bad plan. <laughs> oh, I loved you too, YOLO. Of course, then I guess he kind of does want the guard, or he does the guardian kind of does want us to succeed in some limited fashion. So, okay, yeah. So I guess it's not a big problem for him that he's got so yeah, the, literal cunts working for him. The the 
Worm Guard in the column is easily the most trivial part of this dungeon. This isn't even that hard a dungeon, it's just obtuse. Like some of the shit. Yeah. And long. And it's pretty long. In fact, it's so long that the boss fights next video. And poorly designed. It's so poorly designed that the boss fights next video. Oh boy. Yay. See you guys. Uh, fuck it. <laughs>